Hello, Urbanatics! In this video, pag-usapan natin ang Tonicity of Solutions. Sa video kong ito na sana makatulong part 3, pag-usapan natin ang Tonicity of Solutions, particularly ang three types nito isotonic, hypertonic, and hypotonic solutions. Uh, by the way, kung bago ka sa channel kong ito, kindly hit the subscribe button and notification bell para naman mas maging updated ka pa sa mga susunod ko pang maraming biology na future vlogs. So, simulan na natin. The ability of extracellular solution to make water move into and out of the cell via osmosis is known as the tonicity. Let's proceed with the first type tonicity of solution. Number one is the isotonic solution. In isotonic solution, there will be no net flow of water into or out of the cell. The cell's volume will remain stable. There is an equal concentration of solute and solvent in both sides of the cell, intracellular and extracellular. Meaning to say, since walang net flow of water in and out of the cell, walang magbabago sa itsura ng cell or the structure of cell will remain stable. If we are going to take a look at the image or picture, yan po yung makikita natin. No? It is still normal or still balanced. There are no changes particularly in the structure of the cell. That's the isotonic solution. Second one is the hypertonic solution. In hypertonic solution, there will be net flow of water out of the cell. So merong paglabas ng tubig sa loob ng cell palabas. So therefore, the cell will lose its volume. So may iba na yung structure ng cell dito. Mamaya alamin natin kung ano yung magiging structure niya. The solution outside the cell is more concentrated than inside. The solute concentration is higher than that inside the cell and the solutes cannot across the plasma membrane. In osmolarity, there is a high concentration of solute in the membrane. So dito sa case na to, outside the cell, concentrated masyado yung solute. Okay, causing the cell to what? To shrink or shrunk. If we are going to take a look at the image, yan po yung nagiging itsura ng cell. Okay, dahil sa paglabas ng tubig sa loob nito at dahil sa presence ng maraming solute or ng osmolarity outside the cell. That's the hypertonic solution. Last but not the least is the hypotonic solution. In hypotonic solution, there will be a net flow of water into the cell. So meaning to say, merong pagpasok ng water molecules or merong osmosis na naganap from extracellular papasok sa loob ng cell. So therefore, the cell will gain the volume. The solution inside the cell is more concentrated than outside. More proportion of solvent than solute. It's just like taking a too much water. Di ba kapag uminom tayo ng maraming tubig? Maraming maraming tubig tayo inom, yung tiyan natin ay lalaki o magiging bloated. Ganun din yung cell. Kapag maraming tubig na nakapasok sa loob ng cell, if we are going to take a look at the picture, yan po yung kanyang magiging itsura. Okay? The cell will swell or cell is swollen. Now, in this picture, if we are going to compare and contrast the following, yan po yung pinaka nagiging structure nila. Depende sa kung anong types ng tonicity of solution. If you are going again to take a look at the isotonic solution, since walang net flow of water into and out of the cell, the cell is still equal or balanced. Normal yung structure ng cell. In hypertonic solution, since sa loob ng cell, okay, lumabas yung mga water via osmosis, okay, nag-shrink yung cell at the same time, yung presence ng solute, yung osmolarity, the presence of too much solute outside the membrane in extracellular can cause the cell to shrink or shrunk in hypertonic solution. And finally, in hypotonic solution, there is a net flow of water from extracellular to intracellular. May pagpasok ng tubig. So therefore, ayan ang naging itsura niya. No? Lumaki yung pinaka-structure ng cell. If we are going to take a look at the microscope, under microscope, yan po yung makikita natin with the different types of tonicity of solution. In isotonic, the structure of the cell is normal. In hypotonic, makikita naman talaga natin na medyo nag-gain siya ng volume or ng size. Lumaki talaga siya. And then in hypertonic, the cell is already shrink, shrink siya or shrunk. 
So, ayun na mga kabayan natin. So, natapos na natin yung may take, simple, at short discussion tungkol sa types of tonicity of solution. Yung three types yung again, the isotonic, the hypertonic, and hypotonic solution. Sana nakatulong ako sa inyo kahit ka paano at nakapagbigay ako ng information sa inyo. At by the way, marami pa namang reference dyan kaya na uh, in sa internet, sa libro na makakatulong sa inyo. Pero sana sa vlog kong ito, kahit pa paano ay may naibahagi ako sa inyo tungkol sa knowledge about sa tonicity of solutions. So that's all for today. Hanggang sa muli mga kabayanatics, God bless!